Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV, coming to day, today from day three, the final day of PTC 2024. I'm Barb Mitchell, and I'm joined by Miranda Gardner, Executive Director of the iMasons Climate Accord. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, Barb. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. Yeah. Love to be here. We, uh, it's been a busy, busy week. How's it been? A <laughs> little yeah. busy. As a first timer, it uh, can yeah. be a little overwhelming, but such wonderful people, such amazing companies here, the programming, the networking. I mean, how do you go wrong in Hawaii too, right? I mean, that's true. <laughs> Good point. Good point. And um, I know that, so you, I believe, um, joined the the efforts for the, towards the I Mason's Climate Accord uh, this past year. And oh. lots to say about what's been happening. But can we start with just give our audience a little bit of a history of what the Climate Accord is, what it means, why it exists. Absolutely. Yeah, the Climate Accord started about two years ago, thanks to the iMasons Advisory Board. They realized that sustainability, emission reductions, carbon reductions, was sort of taking a life of its own and really needed this kind of standalone pillar. And so we're approaching our second birthday in April and really starting to make some moves in terms of the foundational pillars of a carbon labeling scheme, a maturity model, other tools and helpful resources for the entirety of the digital infrastructure to move on this journey with us. Right. And it's been amazing to watch. I remember when, when I think we were chatting about this uh, yesterday, we were um, in a meeting together talking about just how this has really taken off across the industry globally and so many great names, big companies, small companies, all, all parts it's expanded out, I believe, to uh, include more and more um, sectors right within our industry and so that's fantastic let's talk about what specific initiatives are taking place yeah well i mean a great point we're now at over 250 member companies yeah. which is super exciting that because is. that number has grown from the initial 70. I mean, again, less than two years. Uh, we've started this week uh, kind of a relaunch and a reboot of our working groups. So these are the groups focused in on power, equipment, and materials. Yep. And now includes, to your point of different sectors, more architecture, engineering, and construction firms. So our front-end delivery teams. Yep. We've really got, again, to your point, <clears throat> companies that are one person and then, you know, our hyperscalers in the mix. So just this really diverse range of perspectives coming to the table, as I said, working on our maturity model. And so this is kind of a development tool for anyone to map where they are and how they progress. Our case studies that have been launched previously, our kind of hot topic debate series that's going live at various events this year. And then of course, our, our carbon labeling, which we are doing in partnership with the Open Compute Project. Yeah, and so, I mean, the, the you said from a numbers perspective, so seventy to two fifty, then and actually zero really to seventy to two fifty. Yeah. Um, why are these folks joining? What are the benefits that they're seeing from being part of the iMasons Climate Accord? Yeah, I mean, very similar to what they're getting out of the iMasons themselves. This real sense of leaving your company at the door and coming and being a collaborative partner with the rest of the industry. Again does not matter if you're at a company with thousands of employees or you're a company of one. Yeah. Um, your perspective is valuable and important. You're sharing things. You're starting to see launches of different companies, including our founder, Dean Nelson, launching his company, Cato. I mean, these are coming from these conversations and these needs of the industry that go beyond, again, company walls. Yeah. So how can people get involved? We, we take everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We do, though. Uh, if, you are, if you are interested and keen on learning about and moving yourself forward in a carbon reduction journey, uh, you can go to our website, climateaccord.org. Uh, membership is actually complimentary. Companies are the members. Feel free to sign up. We have additional levers that you can participate in, our working groups. We're actually hosting a session next month, kind of a, a if you call it a state of the union, to give everyone an update from our governing body, from our working group members. Again, these kind of sub work streams that we have with partnerships, where we'll be at different events this year. So a whole host of things coming up in 24. We're that's really fantastic. excited about it. Yeah. yeah, thank you for sharing that. And I mean, the work that's being done by both iMasons and the iMasons Climate Accord specifically is fantastic. And we're thank so you. proud to be partners uh, with you and we promote you whenever and wherever <laughs> and however we can. So thank you so much for joining us today and sharing with us. Well, thank you. I mean, it's such a flattery to hear this, but likewise, we, we yeah. could not say enough about our partnership with JSA and yeah. of course all the organizations involved with you. So it's mutual. Yeah. 
<laughs> Partnerships are great, right? <laughs> yes, <laughs> so absolutely. Good. Love it. Thank you, Miranda. Thanks thank for you. joining us. Appreciate and, the time. And thank you to our viewers for tuning in today to JSA TV. Enjoy the rest of the conference. Happy networking.